and welcome back to another episode of Walksies. Let's play a Zero Ops, a demo Christmas edition. I'm trying to are playing Zero Ops again, or the demo of it, or the Christmas edition version of the demo. I like it sounds very fine. And by the way, those two sprites I was talking about, well, they won't, they weren't, be, they will not be in the demo until March when they release a new version of the demo. Uh, well, the sprites be on the screen anyway. And basically, this demo is all about the battle mode. So I'll kind of jump the gun when I was saying that, and uh, that also means we probably don't need to do the story as much. I guess we can still do the story and see what the tutorials like in the main story. Uh, I guess that's exactly. I guess that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. But before we do that, we're going to just pull around uh, with the battle mode real quick. I think we just do this. There we go. All right. Yep. All right. So yeah, let's just let's just fool around with this. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's just a uh, light real gun and heavy real gun. Launch base? That's oh those are rockets. These were BBS. Oh that's interesting. Uh time twenty seconds. Uh we wanna do some rockets, see what those are like. And then these will be expensive, so they're mine. Yeah, that'd be fine. Oh, that'd be rockets, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll put that. I will put that in the middle, actually. Hold it. There we go. We'll just take that. I'll put one right there. It'd be nice if they, if uh, you could just have the have the uh, the Sierra just fill by itself. We got that done. Now let's get ourselves our bigger gun. Yeah, it's also siege. And I'll wait. Actually, that's just fine. Save. And now we're going to sell the one in the back. Right click, do that. There we go. Actually, we could. Uh, what are those? Not quite sure what that is. Yeah, this is extremely hard to tell. Actually, it's not that hard to tell. We can just do this and go to new weapon and then see what that looks like. Okay, that's what that looks like. We need to. Maybe that's a Vanguard? It's not Vanguard. Uh, Phalanx. That's not Phalanx. Fine. That looks fine. Uh, oh, it's oh those are oh that is, those are rockets. Okay, so never mind. We're not gonna put the rocket in the middle then. Um, it's fine. Later. All right. I'm just gonna put two. No, we're gonna put something lighter than that. Uh, lighter than the siege. So let's do a light. Uh, let's do a light system. There we go. Hey, which one of these is the light? Uh, let me see how much thing how much that will cost. Okay, uh, one one zero zero or one 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 zero zero. I mean you. Okay. Yeah, see, that's different than that one. That's a siege. Now let's do some uh, the C the CISs. Actually, what do these look like? What do these look like? I'm going to dig out the mug and find less of this. Not sure what they look like. I guess we can delete them and see what and see if we can make our uh, you. They make some of you. Okay. Oh, 
Right click, there we go. Okay, needs not go there. Oh, I completely got rid of those things. Interesting. Are right, those not weapons then? Huh. Let's upgrade the Victor. We're gonna need that. Kinda clear they do. Oh, basically just engine and hull performance that's increased the hull plating. Sparkle generator. Increase that, okay. There we go. I wish we can get those back where they were. Oh, we're getting it that to actually look at the thing that makes sense. Alright, that's easy. Yeah, that would do. And these are what? Hard tell. Oh, is it some guns? Okay. I wish you could click on these so exactly what they are. Uh, I guess we can get rid of these and make them the CWSs, because we don't really need that type of weapon right there. Not working. Can we grab that weapon? Are we out of resource points? But we have plenty. Oh, we don't have plenty. Oh. Right. I can't get him either. Oh, maybe because I have money to get him. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, these are abilities. That's what those are. Alright, guy. Okay, let's go in battle and see what happens. There we go. Oh, much faster than the last time. I gotta wish I could do a selection box. It'll help a lot. Okay, now let's get our shields up. Yeah, the UI has definitely changed a lot for the better with the ability to actually, you know, with tool steps and stuff like that. There we go. I actually need more shields. You know, with the ability... No, just your UI is better. I mean, that always has stayed the same, but the ability to actually, you know... These screens make a whole lot more sense as well as our tooltips. Uh, so that makes a whole lot more sense. And then these are abilities. Although I wish I had a tooltip for them. There we go. So let's see how long we can last this time. Now, actually, this was the re no. This was the main point of the build. Is this is this mode right here? The story wasn't, you know, the story for the build was basically pushed. Uh, give me a second. All right, sorry, I clear my bases. All right, oh, uh, you gotta get up there. Um, but yeah, basically, the, Christmas, the point of Christmas build was basically for battle mode, not the sprites. Uh, I, you know, I didn't, I should have read more into it, but I didn't. Uh, so yeah. There we go. Uh, I just really want to get back into the uh, action. There we go, we're doing a lot better than we did the last time, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, actually, thanks to, uh, thanks to the developer, Helios, to, uh, for tweeting me, oh, by the way, uh, you know, the, the Christmas build is, you know, Christmas build is the, uh, you know, it's all about the combat, you know, it is the battle build, and they are, uh, and they're adding sprites later, because they need a quick overhaul. Uh, unfortunately, that, you know, unfortunately, a quick overhaul will take, will be into March, but still. Uh, We're heavily damaged. Uh, are we, how are we getting damage from that guy? Oh, you, who forgot to pop the shields? That's one down for the enemy. I did, alright. 
You guys need to get over. Yeah, I know. You get. You guys go over and have fun. So yeah, I mean, I should have read more into it. I should have read the update actually, because I, I just wanted to basically. I just wanted to re basically. I did what I like to do, which is I read only what I need to read in order to, uh, you know. Get, I, read any, only, I read only what I needed to read, so I wouldn't spoil myself on the actual get, on the actual new uh, new stuff. Uh, which, for that case, didn't really work out that well. Although, this boat is, you know, this boat's not bouncing anyway. It's just basically they're free to mess around with the Sierra and just test out the new battle mechanics, which have greatly improved. I mean, I like the ability to actually nip like power over there. I like these abilities. I like the uh, shield. Although, I think the shield should be always on unless you decide to turn them off. And you should start on and unless you, unless you decide to turn them off, of course. Uh, the platforms, I messed up this yet. All these are probably just cockies. Yeah. Alright. We need to get power back. Less weapons, more shield. I should just pull back. I see our shield bar is going down. Just back it up, back it up. Also, I wish there was ability. I wish there was hotkeys, or at least a thing around here saying that you, that telling you to see only the back up only goes side side. You know, similar to how some real time tactic games are, and a lot of real time strategy games are, where you can tell tanks to go straight back and stuff. Can we go by? Yeah, I, I do really like it. Okay, we need our power back. Now, what is this? Again, having uh, again having that set of abilities, and actually having you know. Text on actually the tooltips are just fine, but having text up over there, text on top of this, telling you, oh by the way, that's what that does, will really help. Right, I guess we can do more shields now that they've recharged. All right. Oh, we're doing stepping battle. Let's do that dodge. Let's get moving. Are right, these guys any closer? My man, these guys are sniping. We lost the two escorts, by the way. I got the Viper. Yeah, again, I, I build, no, again, the ability to like have press button over here and tell them strafe go. only, and then I can tell them to strafe like this uh, to get out of the way of, we get away of these shots would really help. But you know, that's like, that'll be unique to this game, more or less. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one else does it. Oh, come on, don't be off screen, you hacker. Give some more, but they're going down. Um, how much are we have a lot of shields left again? Now, I can it'd be cool if I could just basically, or it'd be cool if there's a hockey saying, you know, hit the hockey and then move, or have that selected, then move, uh, then move. You already, you know, you strafe instead of uh, doing that because that would really happen in this situation. And then we got tons of stuff, and we don't have our uh, we don't have our uh, then we get our shields back, and we don't have our C I S C W S S or C I W S S. The shield's on. Alright. And we're gonna lose a bridge in a second. And these fighters. It'd be nice if I had an escort that could duel with fighters, because my escorts apparently can't. I mean that's just what I use in your two space battles, but still. Mission failure. Alright, let's try that again. Uh let's try again. Yeah, it's about that game crashed. Which was, yeah, I think that was the first time it actually ca uh, crashed for me. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. All right, let's go to you. And this I'm actually going to re, you know, uh, in one of my universe sim episodes, someone commented that, uh, you know, instead of just, skip, instead of, you know, quickly going through the tutorials, I should read them more and take my time. Which is absolutely right, I should. You know, it, it's good to see people actually embracing the my the way I play games as opposed to other people. Because there's other people that make 30 minute long videos once and only for that game. And they just skip through all this stuff without actually reading it. Uh, or they do another thing where they read it and then play the game for like an hour or two. Or even some people play it for days before recording. A new game, by the way. You know, a game that they're making the video to show off the new game. Uh, and then they don't read the tutorial and they skip through it in case people actually want to see it. What I do is I just read it as fast as I usually do, but if it's a tutorial, if it's not, you know, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any, any in, and it doesn't have any interesting dialogue, 
Uh, I'll just uh, I'll just go right through it. I won't actually. I I'll just glance through it, uh, which works and doesn't work. However, uh, since I've been recording the, you know, since I've been feeling my best when I'm recording these videos, I've actually read it, read it. So I need, and also uh, yeah, as you can see, I can't really talk right now. Um, I mean, right now, for some odd reason, my head's kind of on fire. Yeah, I only got a temperature of 99, uh, which I find to be weird, and, you know, my appendages are kind of cold for, you know, reasons, sometimes I shiver, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, uh, so it's making it hard for me to breathe, uh, you know, and anyway, and also, I'm, and also, yeah, and now I'm getting all breath, you know, it's just, ah, you know, it's just, being me, but anyway. Alright. Let's start in the resource units. Uh, we're gonna mess around with the turrets first. Oh, okay, right click and increase the selection. Can you do that? Alright. Okay, we're going to definitely need one of these. Uh, or we're just going to use a Vanguard, just a standard Vanguard. Bam. Oh, that clears the selection for that, okay, but you can't actually clear that. That's interesting, yeah. We actually have the cell weapon. And... Oh, you can't fight these there. I just ran out of money the first time. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get ourselves some big guns. Some, uh, well, at least one siege. Hey, there we go. And we've got some missiles already. I guess we can do this two siege cannon and see what happens. And I believe, you no, know, act in actual game, uh, I guess we can find out by going through the story again. Uh, in actual game, I believe you will just, you will steadily upgrade your ship, just like a game like Sunrider, which I do want to do Sunrider eventually as well, as the other series I mentioned at the end of the last video. Um, but I'm going to wait for the, I'm going to wait for the third you know, the third release or game or second extension pack, whatever it is, or second or third part. Uh, I wouldn't wait for it to be, I wouldn't wait for its release date to be announced, and then I might do it, depending on how, uh, depending on how long it might come out. And it's coming out, Sunrise is coming out sometime this year, hopefully. Uh, so I'll be playing that, I'll be playing the first two of that, which I believe the first two, like, range in length of, like, 10 to 20 hours, I think. I'm not quite sure, I didn't really get that far in the first one. So yeah, I might do that over the spring or summer, depending on how things are. Like next thing, I'm, like next series I want to start up for a series uh, for a game that's coming out is the new uh, is uh, Mirror's Edge. I want to start that up soon. Uh, actually, I want to start it up after this. Now that I remind myself of that, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, and Mirror's Edge is not that long. Uh, and then also I need to do. Uh, also I need to do. Uh, I'm not quite sure which other series I need to do off the top of my head, but those are the main ones. Alright, and yeah, let's do that. And we want shield. Oh, we want Parker Generator up. We're going to have more power. We want to have more pulse. Some more. Oh, we need more vector shields. Oh, we can right. We cannot get. We cannot right click get rid of stuff. Oh, that's not good. And mechanics, a little bit of mechanics and a whole lot of armor. You know, one of those. Oh. Oh, we still got that stuff. I wish we could got rid of stuff. Alright, we're good. I think we're ready. Let's do this. I wish we could save yeah, this. I wish we could save this before going to battle. Actually, I think we can. It's called doing this. Oh, no, you can't. Interesting. Alright, let's go. Alright, where are they coming from? 
I just think I want everyone to move up out, out as one thing. They were slower this time. Oh, and Bloody has a shield up. Okay, shield is up. Shield is up, right? Oh, and also we're going to need to do shield and guns. I wish, I wish I knew what those did. I guess we can check in the other screen. And then you, you have your shield up, right? That did something. You know what? You guys, I'll have my two disposables go, or have my two escorts take on these jerks. There you go. Have fun. Yep. We're doing pretty good this time. Also be nice to have some way to see all your ships on on screen at once. All your ship stats on screen at once. Mainly, oh no! Uh, like maybe have like to see may, may, mainly have it so you're um, mainly have. So I guess what you could do is whatever ship you have selected, um, whatever ship you have uh, collected or selected will uh, basically be in this area right here, and then any other ship that's on that you have on your team will be you know have smaller images like like that up on that side uh, to the left of that, like in that row. That'd be nice. I have fun. That's where I had squirts and everything keeping anything. Oh, they know they can't miss the Sierra. Those little drones. How long is our. Oh, that, that's starting to the siege cannon. Just kill that thing. Uh, our ships are dying by those drones. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any real way to deal with the remote and uh, deal with those drones. Yeah, one of our ships I have. Yep. Yes, yeah, keep moving up. Yeah, those drones are just overbearing. They just kill everything. Once they get on you, you're dead. I guess but that's the unbalanced part of this. Got one. Let me go after you. Anyone else is jumping in? Not really. I right, take that guy out. And also the enemies are hiding on the edge of the screen. Which is a smart place to be. Because I can't move over there because that's in the way. Now those guys and we're doing good. Take care of those guys. Actually you take them. Siri, you take them out. Yeah, having two siege cannons works really nice. And notice there's no, you know, real sci-fi weapons in this game except for, well, the railguns. But we are, you know, but the United States is currently working on railgun prototypes, or at least one of them anyway. And also they're working on you no know, laser prototypes as well. And not four vehicles or, ah, uh, well, they're working on the airborne laser, which is basically a, 7, a 747 with a big chemical laser inside of it. Uh, and, and that's basically, and that was made, and that is made the an ICBM of defense, where basically they sit on the outside of some country that we're worried about launching. We're worried about their. It were, let's try that again. Again, I just can't talk again. My head's on fire. Uh, oh, great. Get back up. Uh, I'm not quite sure what those do. Actually, what, what does this do? You here, friend? Shield up again. I guess the shield drains when you have it, and it, and it recharges when you don't, but anyway. Uh, like I was saying, yeah, basically the airborne lasers are, you know, a ICBM deterrent. Uh, or, or ICBM defense, where basically you, you make, you uh, send them to hang out on the border of a, uh, a border of a country that you're worried about, uh, that, that you worry about them using ICBMs, or pretty much any kind of missile. And basically, if they use an ICBM, they would shoot it down from range, uh, with their laser. Uh... And they're only useful, I guess, in the ice beam launch phase. However, you know, there are plans for it to be used against aircraft, basically being a form of artillery, where basically, you know, aircraft in the front, air, aircraft, you know, dealing with other aircraft, like uh, F-22 sitting, no, aircraft, F-22 sitting on the edge of the combat zone, uh, marking targets for the airborne lasers to take out. Um, you know, that's a possibility as well. But anyway, this, and also, you no know, lasers are, oh, we're going down. Uh, lasers are also, uh, yeah, I know. Oh, shields back up. Uh, you know, I've been, I know we're also working on, like, stationary lasers for, uh, air defense. 
as well. Oh, great. Now back it up. I can, having the, having, having somewhere on the screen where I can just, or having a shortcut where I can just hit, you no, know, back up or hit, move to the side. There we go. Move up along that situation. All right. But man, has improved at the original. Oh, man. So, I mean, the, I mean, the demo's only, like, what, three hours long at most? Uh, so I can do it easily again. And are we frozen? I mean, we are we crushing? Yep. All right, okay, we're back. Oh, I just noticed there are no load options. This, I guess this version's all about the, uh, all about the, um, battle, which is fine. I guess we can just do the story again once we, uh, you know, once the March version comes out, which that's probably, that's probably what the next version, that's, that's probably where the next, uh, episode in the series will be is when, uh, you know, it's when that comes out, I'll do that in March. Uh, and then of course, after, that, I, after, you know, I do that, after I go through the story, after I do, after I do some open world combat, I'll, uh, I'll wait till the game's fully released. Yeah, and there's also another, uh, also, you know what, uh, there's another demo of a visual novel that I checked out a long time ago, but I never told you guys about it, and that's the demo for, uh, Starlight Drifter, uh, which is more, you know, which is more of a center visual novel, basically after I saw Seerops, uh, basically that was, like, my other, that's, that was basically my, that basically was supposed to be my first visual novel that I did that didn't have any real gameplay elements. Uh, to it, you know, any tra or I should say traditional gameplay elements to it. Um, unfortunately, that was supposed to come out last year. Did not. It was actually supposed to come out in Team the Access, like, summer of 2015, uh, but it did not. Uh, and then it was, you know, and then it's been pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. I think it's supposed to come out sometime this year. Uh, Star Wars Drifter is, but we'll see. And basically what Star Wars Drifter is, is it's kind of a, you know, basically imagine Mass Effect as a visual novel and you get the, and you have a general idea. Of what it is. So yeah, I'll be, you know, I'll be, I'll be doing that. I might do the demo because the demo is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll do that as well as the other games I mentioned, like, uh, like Ace, like uh, Ace Academy. I don't know why, I don't know whether I want to do that or not. And you know, whether I want to do it in its early access phase or do I want to do it. Uh, when it releases, I mean, if you're doing a new access phase, that makes it, that makes my life a whole lot easier because, well, it's, there's only two episodes now, and there's gonna be like what four total when it get, when that gets done. So we'll see. Uh, and then they got uh, Mo of Love, which I'm actually playing through the original Mo of Love, and that I've been playing that for over ten hours now, and it's still, you know, it, it, it's winding down, but it's winding down ever so slowly, and I still need to play like what I still need to play like. Uh, one more time at least to unlock the bonus content, which is what the real uh, experience is from. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see whether or not I do that or not. Uh, but that, you know, that's getting the territory which, uh, you know, it's getting the territory which I kind of stormed through with Seerops. Not only, is, not only is it a visual novel, but it's for uh, the first, you know, the main mode of Mud Love, which is not the, which is not what which is not the most loved mode of Mud of Love. Basically, the most loved mode of Mud of Love is uh, Unlimited, uh, where a lot, of stuff a, lot of stuff crazy a lot of crazy things happen and it makes it better. But, however, the original mode is still pretty good. Uh, you know, it has a lot of Japanese culture in it, and it's just generally hilarious. Uh, as well as, well, it's just generally hilarious. Um, but, yeah, so I could do that, because the, because... The, uh, because Mob Love is just, you know, the PS3 version of Mob Love I actually went through Kickstarter very, re very recently. Uh, and basically that's bring that's bring Mob Love to the Western audience with Western voice acting and, uh, and actually in good translation. How, you know, you can get the original, uh, for free, but it's in Japanese and you have to use the English patch, which is how I'm doing it. Um. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's not the only reason why I'm kind of reluctant to do Mo of Love. It's also because that's a, you know, uh, to use a term that my grandma uses, it's an x rated game. I mean, people have done videos on it, but does it fit my channel or not? I do not know. I mean, I could always, you know, good, do the go, good, I can always just make it, you know, make those videos rated, uh, rated 18. Couldn't make a version of the video, uh, with black bars by the main playlist and then put the, you know, put the, um, you have to log into YouTube and be over 18 to see it uh, in the playlist. I mean, in the uh, description as a bonus video, which I could always do. Uh, I mean, that seems like the best way for me to do it. 
best, best seemed like the best way for me to deal with uh, nudity is just make it do black bars on the main back bars in the main series and then have a separate video that's rated 18 just for that uh, just for that video just for that episode. Reason why that makes sense to me is simple. I mean, if you're you know you can watch the main series and not be interrupted by by you having to log into YouTube. Uh, or if you're under 18, uh, you don't have, you know, you can watch the main series and not actually have to worry about that. And then, if you are over 18, you can go down the video description and, uh, look at that version of the video yourself. Um, and I'll probably do that with other games as well that do have nudity, which I don't, I don't like nudity as, I don't like nudity at all. Uh, you know, I'm playing Muv Love because of its sci-fi elements that it, that it gets later on in the unlimited version. Uh, and stuff like that. Which that actually will make doing uh, the Ecl uh, Eclipse version easier. Uh, but anyway, so that's why I'm on the fence of doing that. But I'll probably do it. I'll probably do the English version, which the English version is censored. Um, I still only gotta worry about it being, you know, uh, dating sim, which is a problem. Uh, but you know, it's still hilarious and it's still very good writing and it's and you can learn Japanese culture as well. Um, you know, and and again, it's hilarious. So it might it might fit in that it might fit in that it might fit in that way, but you know we'll see. But you know I've been you know 2015 and early 2016 have been basically be have been basically me expanding my channel, because uh, it used to just be just AAA games and just you know and uh, and you know other and some indie games, but now it's AAA games, Steam games, indie games, random games I find, uh, demos and stuff like that, which is interesting. Uh, but we'll see, we'll, you know, we'll see what, we'll see what has. and you know, like I said, Serial Ups was the first, was what, my first visual novel that I had on the channel, and, yeah, I don't know, I, and it basically blew up since then. So, yeah, so I don't kind of want to do more of it. You know, if a, you know, if a genre gets, you know, genre gets traction, I want to do more of it on my channel. Which, that's another interesting thing I have on my channel, uh, that's an interesting thing about my channel, is the simple fact that I do so many things. That yes, those things people do, but there people do them separately. Like, like I got AAA games. Like some people do. I got team games. Some people do. I got indie games. Some people do. I got, you know, MMO. I got I got Mass Play Arena games. Which some people do. I got just random. I got visual novels, which some people do, but not there. But there's not many people that do all of them uh, in the way that I do them. Um, which yeah, <laughs> you know, makes my channel interesting. Alright, but anyway, so, um, and also, I, you know, I'm also a pretty good player myself, and I know stuff, which there are some people, especially with the AAA games, is people are pretty bad at them, as well as, you know, they're just funny, and they're not, they don't know much about the game, but I do my research if I have to, and I just know general stuff about general things, because I, I just, I just generally know it, I just generally know it, but anyway, I'll, I'll discuss this some other time. Maybe my face will blow, but we'll see. Maybe if I do another train ultra, which I probably do, still, I probably do, I do probably do need to, but we'll see. Alright, anyway, so yeah, that do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you watching all this episode. Means today. Also, you me to leave a comment or check the interactions uh, for this series when I come back in March. Uh, again, not quite sure. Uh, just general any suggestions that you have or any tips on how to play. Uh, Zero Ops demo in general with those tips news come to real that they and also the Christmas edition. And, um, yes, I'll see you in March, and I guess, see you in a second.